G'day guys, Greg here. Well, it's my favourite time of the day again. <laughs> you know it. It's actually a little bit early today. It's around lunchtime. And well, this is going to be my breakfast and lunch today. So I think this will be a really nice introduction uh, to my daily, uh, my well, my food intake. I'm pretty sure it's going to be just like eating a sandwich anyway. But uh, this beer... Uh, came from my one of my great fans out there, Daniel Oakes. Now Daniel, his his uh, his mother thinks that I'm super sexy. So, I mean, she obviously has great tastes. And to raise a son that likes watching this, well, she must be a top broad that woman. But uh, Daniel wanted me to try this beer right here, Tetley's Smooth Ale. Now, I haven't had one of these before, but it's made in Leeds in uh, West Yorkshire in England. So I figured it's a little bit of a, a coolish winter's day here. I think it is winter now. Uh, it's 20 degrees Celsius anyway, which is, which is why I've got the jumper on, because 20 degrees is, I mean, it's, it's like Arctic. It might as well be snowing, I reckon. Uh, so I thought, well, what better way to celebrate winter with a pommy beer, and because I mean the poms, they they like their beer cold, don't they? Well, warm, and well, I just figured this one might be a nice one to try. Now, this one surprisingly enough is 3.6 percent, which really surprised me because I thought, you know, none of these were below 5 percent. But so this is like a mid strength. So could this be my new favourite mid strength? Well, we'll wait and see, huh? Now, there's a bit of some spiel on here. Mine, this is a 440ml can too, by the way. The old pommies, mate. That I know that, you know, I'm a, I'm about a quarter English. I'm, I'm of mixed race, you see. English, Irish, uh, Welsh, and a bit of Danish in me as well, apparently. So, I have got the blood of the Englishman in me. But here it says, uh, the Tetley's Smooth, satis satisfying taste of Tetley's, serve cold for best results, which sort of uh, surprised me a little, because uh, I always think the Poms liked warm beer. <laughs> Maybe that's just my alcoholic friends, they just buy it warm straight from the, the bottle and just start down it without even like cooling it down first. Or they shove some ice cubes in, you know it. Uh, pull the tab, listen to the surge, and pour down the side of your glass in one smooth movement, it says. Bitter, brewed and canned in the UK, Joshua Tetley and Sons. I oh, wonder if Joshua Tetley's got a daughter that he wouldn't mind, uh, you know, getting some Aussie into. Um, best before, sea base. Yep, yep, it's still in date, so that's all right. Then the can, it says metal. Oh. I would have thought it'd be aluminium. But anyway, so what's going on there? I think it's just some birds attacking things. Now this has probably got one of those widgets in it. Let's see. Oh yeah, it has. Oh, I love widget beers. <laughs> oh, and um, anything else I need to know? No. Now, oh, this does have a 2.82 on the old beer scale out of five. So a mid-strength. Now pour gently down the side of the glass. Oh, yes. Look at that. Oh. This is going to be one of those beautiful beers, I can just tell. 440 mils. This will test the old beer glass. And look, this beer glass was made for this Tetley's. Have a look at that. Oh, yes. This. Already, I'm in love. <laughs> Just got to wait for those little bubbles there to rip up there. Oh, yes. Mate, if this is any good, this could be my new drinking beer. And even if it isn't, mate, I'm still going to buy... I reckon I'll still buy a few more because I just love that whole like uh, widget thing and I love that sort of head that comes with it and and that color just looks amazing oh yeah 
Oh boy, that looks... Well, you know what that looks like? Lunch. <laughs> oh, it's got such a beautiful aroma. Oh, it just smells like a pub. A really nice English pub. It, I, it could transport me back to England, I reckon, that smell. Oh, a little bit fruity smelling, but just a really nice smell. Oh, boy. Mm-mm. Mmm, mate, I haven't even got to the beer yet, but the creaminess of that head is just beautiful. Oh, wow. It's like silk, just silk and or just melted butter over your lips. Oh. Mmm. I mean, it's not the strongest beer, but I mean, at three and a half percent, mate, it's, um, I mean, it's, it's got no fizz in it. Uh, so it's, you know, it's just a smooth ale. Seems to be going down all right. But um, beautiful, beautiful color. Uh, the taste is a really nice blend. You know, it's, it's not too strong either way. It sort of got a, a funny kick at the end with the hops that sort of just come in there, but overall it just coats my inner mouth with this, just this nice smoothness. It's really smooth and a slight maltiness there, that slight sweetness, but it's not overpoweringly sweet and it's definitely not overpoweringly um, uh, hoppy either. It's just a really nice blend. And just, I think it was perfect for a winter's day like this. Mm -mm. Uh, it looks like there's little tiny fine bubbles in there, but this is so smooth. It tastes so nice. I mean, it's not a strong tasting beer. Uh, it, I can, I'm getting the hops that are in there uh, pretty much, but man, this is nice. I can just see myself with a six pack. What would that be? Six four is 24. It'd be like two and a half liters. <laughs> I wonder if they sell it in six packs or it only comes in a four pack. So, you know. <laughs> so this is a 1.6 standard drinks. Okay. So you could only have two of these in two hours and drive. Ah, that wouldn't cut the mustard. This is definitely a stay at home beer. Hmm. Yeah, it's not it hasn't got a strong taste at all. It's it's got a sort of a it's a it's a weakish taste, but it's it's a nice taste. And I'm really enjoying this. It's even got the lines coming down the glass as well. I could really drink this fast, you know. And the thing is, that beer that I did yesterday, that um, trap, trappy, trappist, um, <laughs> whatever, mate, I was sitting on that all night, that one beer. <laughs> one beer in the night and that was it. That was me done. It lasted me like four hours, that beer. So I hope this guy's doing uh, six knots. He's on a jet ski, you see. Look, look how nice it is down here today. It's beautiful. Slow down, mate. Six knots. Actually, don't slow down. Get up it. Get up it, sunshine. Come on. Get up it, will ya? He's not getting up it. He needs a few tentleys into him. Actually, that would be illegal, so I wouldn't suggest that. Mm. Must be a learner driver. Have you ever heard of a throttle, mate? Get up it. You, you're, it's 100 metres each side. You're allowed to go full bore. What's going on here now? Oh, some people. But, uh, 
yeah this is really nice and if you ever want to try a nice mid-strength that's got that cream in us that's not exactly bubbly but uh, does the job mate this Tetley's is really good now it's got a uh, 2.82 star rating but I reckon uh, this one here for a good mid strength I'd give this a, a three and a half easy any day of the week a 3.75 even maybe even four if I was feeling generous but I think I might stick to the 3.75 I reckon that that's a, a good score for this beer and it's really enjoyable and I do like my mid strengths and this is definitely one I'd be getting again. Mm -mm. Ah. Anyway, I'm, uh, I'm gonna just hang around here and, well, I saw some stingrays down there before, really big ones too. Mate, that thing is huge. But uh, I might just go and suss that out, maybe even thaw out some bait and maybe go for a bit of a fish. Hopefully the midges aren't biting too hard. Anyway, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time for my next review. See you then. Cheers, everyone.